Hi all, this is Sandy from Guild Portal, and I'm going to go over a brief description of all of our widgets um, slash content types. Same word, diff I mean, different words, same idea. So I'm going to go to the control panel. I'm going to go pages and content and hit that accordion, and I'm going to pick which page I want my content or widgets added on. So I want to use, I'm just going to add it to my test page. If you want a widget type added to every page, you have to add it to each page, but most people only want a widget on one page, so that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to go over to the right hand here, and I'm going to click Add Widget. And now I'm going to get to the list of all of our widgets. If you have a game that has um, content or widgets t um, just for your game, that information will show up first. Um, but I'm going to go down to what almost every game will have. Um, not the game specific widgets, but the widgets that every guild should have. And the first one is usually bank. Uh, the guild bank, in almost all cases, you will have to, as the admin, enter the banking information yourself. Sorry about that, but we just don't have great tie ins to the games. Calendar is where you could post and make events. Chat, if you'd like to chat with your members online. An embedded page will. Um, if you have the URL of another page, it will um, you can use that content type to uh, open it in your new one. Op have that page on your po site. Event box small pulls from the calendar, and it just has like seven or ten of the upcoming events. Forum search is a search of the forums. Forums. Then we have the next one is a free form HTML text. This is for you people who like to use HTML. You'd want to use this content type. You have game guides. This is guides written by users um, on your game. Game news. We first try to pull news from the game itself. In this case, we try to go to Ion site and see if they have any good news feeds. If not, we use a 10 ton hammer or 10 ton hammer or somebody like that. Guild portal news and updates. This is news and updates from us. Guild alliance links. I'll go into a uh, do another video about our alliance features. But if you want to have um, who your alliances are, you could use that. Guild Funds is like Guild Bank, only it just does the money part. Guild Summary um, shows you a uh, view of how many um, members you have, how many posts you have, all that kind of stuff, how many officers. Image Gallery shows images. Inbox. This one gets deleted a lot by mistake. If you guys ever delete your mail tab and need your mail back, this is what you need to re-add is the inbox. This is your mail system. Info Section. Keys for keys and flags for characters. A lot of games, I know this was really big in Error EverQuest where you had to go through certain zones and kill certain mobs before you could go other places, so you needed to know what you're keyed and flagged for. That's this. Library content type. Um, if you have somebody who likes to write lots of articles about their game, this is a very useful um, content type. We have two different link content types. One is categorized and one is single. Single list is just a whole bunch of URLs, you know, linking out to another site. Categories list is if you want to make them a little bit more organized, like you want your raid li list here, and then you want your game list here, you'd use that. Guild Portal has a medal system, so you can have a recently awarded medals content type. You can have um, a content type that will show your least members and your most least active by post or most active posting members right here. And then we also have a member's participation rating content type. This is based on more than just how often they post. It's on how often they maybe sign up for events or how often they vote or that kind of stuff. So this is generated by Guild Portal, not by you guys. Next is a trade skill. So if you remember, if you have a game that's really hates, if you have a guild that's really trade skill, this is uh, very handy. Your members will have to enter their own trade skills, but at least you can use this content type to see it all. Needs list. If you guys need some help, um, you know, getting some uh, items or stuff, this is a great thing. News box large, news box small. The difference between most of the large and small content types is the same information, but one tends to be a middle box and the other tends to be a side left or right box. Officer contact list. A lot of people want to be able to contact just the officers of the guild, and this is a list of that. Page view counter. New little one we have right here is a PayPal donation button. Very easy and fun to use. Progression. So for your rating guilds or your games that are really heavy in rating, this is a great content type. Again, the quests, large and small. If you need help with quests, this is a great thing to use. Quotes. These are quotes that you guys ra enter, and it randomly shows different ones. Raid point standings is um, is tied in with our uh, calendar so when you make an event it'll say this is worth 20 points 
Um, and then you'd use the rate point standings so that you could see each of your members' rate point standings. Uh, random categorized image links, random thumbnails, recent blogger, a list of the uh, recent blogs, recent standalone posts. Um, a lot of people just want to see you know, what the most recent posts are. This will only show you posts for the um, areas you have access to. So if you're a super admin, you'd see all the recent posts. But if you were just member, you'd only see members and below post. And if you were just a public user, you'd only see public posts. Recruiting information. If you uh, are recruiting, you can use this content type. Roster. If you don't want to use the game-specific roster, or a lot of guilds use both rosters, this is a guild portal's roster system. If you have an RSS feed from an outside site, you can use this. Everybody's favorite shout box. Member user status updates. Stories. We have a story content type. If you guys have a role-playing guild or a guild that does lots of uh, writing, this is a great story, and you can also uh, click to have it added to Gamer Fables. Gamer Fables. If you don't use our event hosting, you can use voice chat server status. This is to help you with other event servers and um, show up their status on our site. A list of the uh, people who have voting admin rights. Voting pool is large and small. You have to have, if you want to see the uh, final results, you have to have a voting polls large content type. But if you just want you know, your users to be able to vote, you could use the small. Welcome message. Who's online? And for your super techie people, I think. The XML, XSL transform content type. Those are all of our content types slash widgets, whichever you like to call them. And Aaron's calling them widgets this week, so that's what they are. You guys have a great day and enjoy your guild site and have fun gaming.